Recently, a friend shared a partial animation video with me, asking if it could be implemented in Comfy UI. Upon closer inspection, I found that it's essentially composed of frames where some content remains fixed, while the rest changes. Since I'm quite familiar with making videos using Comfy UI, I quickly thought of several methods and decided to create a few videos to share with everyone. Today, I'll demonstrate a relatively simple implementation method, mainly utilizing anime diff and in paint. Though the method is straightforward, the results are quite good. The videos I'm showcasing here were generated using this workflow. Without further ado, let's get started. First, import an in paint workflow I shared earlier. Here, I'm using the redraw node added to Comfy UI in January. Similar to the in paint feature choosing original option in Web UI. We simply need to mask the eyes of the character in the original image node to make her close her eyes. Let's quickly run the workflow to verify. No issues there. Now, let's switch to a different image. This is an artwork style image of a thinker. Our goal now is to change and animate the background of the image. Let's break down the task. It's simple. First, change the background, and second, animate it. Changing the background follows the same process as before. First, open the mask editor and mask the background area in black. I'll start with masking the left side. Save the node. Select a preferred checkpoint. Set the positive prompt to cloud. Remove the negative prompt. Set CFG to 7.5. Use a simpler sampling method like Euler. Set denoise to 1. And click Run. Great! The area we masked earlier now shows the word cloud. Now, let's integrate Animate Diff to animate the clouds generated by the mask. First, add a repeat latent batch node here. Connect the input and output ports. Set the quantity to 16, which means we're duplicating the latent of this image with the mask information 16 times to supply to the sampler. Then, add the Animate Diff related nodes above this workflow. Add an Apply Animate Diff Model node. Connect it to a model node. I'm selecting the latest v3 underscore sd15 underscore mm model, but you can choose your preferred one. Add a Use Evolved Sampling node. Connect the model ports on both sides. Add a Context node and set it to 8. In my experience, for simple motions like this, 8 yields better results than 16. We also need to add a video combine node. Choose the format as MP4 and click Run. This will take some time, so I'll speed it up. There we go. The clouds in that part of the image are now animated, and it looks pretty good. However, manually masking the background can be quite tedious and time-consuming. Despite my best efforts, the combination with the original image doesn't look very smooth. Now, let me share a simpler method to select the entire background. Double-click to add a clip seg masking node. Connect the image to the original image and the mask to this node. This node provides the functionality to split images based on semantics, and is included in the WasNode Suite plugin. It's already included in the full Comfy UI package I shared, but you can also search and install it by yourself. Then, add a clip seg model loader node. This model is unique and automatically downloaded if not found locally. However, many semantic segmentation image plugins use this model. Most users can find the downloaded model in their own models directory under Klyzeg. Users with poor internet connections can configure a hugging face mirror or manually download and place the model in the directory shown in the figure. Ensuring that the folder name under snapshots matches the commit ID of the version you downloaded. Back to the workflow. Add a preview image node here to see the seg result. 
Now, click here and write down the part we want to redraw. Here, I'm writing background to remove the entire background. Click Generate. And the seg result is here. These white areas are the automatically recognized background, and Animate Diff's creation won't exceed this area, thus not affecting the original image. Let me accelerate the following process. As you can see, the background blends very naturally with the original image, and the color tones remain highly consistent. Some of you might wonder if the effect is good because the original image is in an artwork style. Actually, no. Let me try another image of a real person with without changing any other parameters. Just run it directly. Seg quickly captures the background. I'll also speed up the following process. Here are the results. And they're quite impressive. Now, let's try changing the prompt word. Alright, flower. Again, let's fast forward the image creation process. The background of the person has now become flowery. This is just a demonstration. Positive prompts are quite simple, and I haven't added any negative prompts. If you have specific requirements for the background, you can write more detailed prompts or integrate ControlNet into Animate Diff for more refined customization. Well, that's it for today's video. I'll update with several other methods and specific workflows later, such as animating the characters in the image instead of the background. Interested users can keep an eye out for updates. See you next time.